Good morning, beautiful creatures. We are going to try this new spread that I've been working on. It's um, a message from your higher self for two days. So let's go ahead and kind of get this card shuffled for us. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know for today. I don't know if you're watching this before bed, then for tomorrow. <laughs> So we've got two of our three cards open. Now we have three. Except we're going to take four. <laughs> and on the back of the deck we have the Queen of Pentacles. So um, when I first cut the deck we had the Emperor too. So I do feel like there's some sort of prosperity here. Um, but let's see what the cards say. Or some sort of taking charge. The Five of Swords is winning, but at what cost? We have Justice. We have the King of Pentacles. So let me bring this little little guy in here. He must have known he was going to be needed today. We have the Chariot. So, Five of Swords, Justice, King of Pentacles, Chariot. So, again, winning but at what cost? It's a little bit dysfunctional in its own way. Um... But again, you're getting justice in something. There's there's some sort of balance that I, I'm not sure if if it's like an external balance or if this is like an inherent balance you get because of this situation. If it is any legal matters or like anything outside of your control, that's definitely a good omen for you being successful in it. The King of Pentacles following that up, absolutely. So, and the Chariot, it's it's uh, it's a obviously the fastest moving energy in the deck so um your higher self is really saying that like whatever is happening is happening fast and there's some changes being made but they're um they're abundant to whatever the situation is so we have man holding heart and i just like really i am gonna put this over here but i really want to pull a second card for us of this deck and i think it actually came out with that one so we have door to personal healing and happiness, man holding a heart. So, okay, so man holding a heart. So if this is some sort of, let me just read the energy. I feel like there's some sort of small personal internal win that brings you balance inside. It makes you feel abundant and um see I this this King of Pentacles specifically has kind of like an angry or embarrassed look on his face. So I feel like it's it's again it's like winning but at what cost, right? So like it's like you're almost it's just moving on from this this feeling. Um, learn whatever lesson that, that it brings you, you're going to win and whatever it is that you, you want to win in, but I feel like you're going to feel petty about it afterwards, but you're going to move forward and the chariot is moving forward with balance as well. Look at that. She's riding a bike. Great. You have to be balanced to ride a bicycle. Um, the man holding the heart. It's card 45, 9, end of a cycle, endings leading to new beginnings. Maybe that's what this was about, this pettiness, this embarrassment, but that your door to personal healing and happiness has been opened. And what I want to do really quick is with this second tarot deck I have here, I just want to ask Spirit if they have any additional advice. Um, specifically, I want to talk about, oh, let's talk about this man holding a heart. Let's ask about the man, oh my goodness gracious, um, man holding a heart, please, spirit. So I have the tower at the bottom of the pre-shuffle, shuffle, and the emperor underneath, so maybe it was like a breakup or something, where again, maybe you won the argument, but lost the relationship in some sort of way. Um, Spirit, can you have some more information about this man holding the heart, please and thank you. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. So I do feel like this is, um, this has been not something that has been 
light for you. On the back, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe if, if this is this some sort of partnership, um, if this was not a marriage, maybe, or um, a deep soul connection. It's a deep soul connection at the bottom of the day. Whether it was platonic, business, in love, um, it was a deep soul connection. And um, I feel like, again, it's brought you so much heartache. But the door to healing is here. And I just want to pull one more card, please. Um, but, oh, it flipped over for us. We have two. So, the King of Swords and oh, the High Priestess. So, the King of Swords is sometimes a withholding energy, right? So, um, it's like maybe this is from withholding from yourself or they were withholding from you, but you have great intuition. You know, you can read energy, you can read people, you can, maybe you're very empathic, um, have some of your own abilities, but this isn't, um, this is again, you're moving through this energy quickly and I'm going to just switch decks here again. Because now I want to get a little bit of advice for you. Like your higher self is here for you. So, so far they said, you know, you might win the argument but lose the relationship in whatever terms that means for you or like win, win the battle, lose the war. Um, but you are going to move on from this very quickly. It's not a huge, um, like it, I think it's going to feel like a huge loss, but you're going to have even bigger healing. And I'm just being reminded of a saying a friend said to me once, and I love it so much. Um, when you're in those feelings, remember you're not hurting, you're healing. Like if it's painful, like technically you are hurting, but truthfully you're healing and that's really beautiful. So um, spirit, higher selves of whoever we're connecting to right now, can we please have, oh, thank you very much. And we got it. <laughs> the eight of wands so don't get stuck in this energy move through it as quickly as possible um release it so new beautiful better things can come for and we again we have the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups underneath so i i definitely feel like there's going to be um and look at that little puppies oh my gosh um there's definitely going to be if this is about love in some way um Whatever it is, it's gonna, something's going to come and refill your cup. So don't you worry about that. Don't you worry at all. I think you're going to be just fine. And uh, it might be a little bit of a an emotional day. But again, move through it quickly. Don't get stuck in it. Uh, your Ten of Pentacles is out there. You're moving towards it. Your cup will be refilled. That sounds like a very long day. I love your guts and gross bits. I hope you have a good one.